Hello everyone. Let's see if I'm actually recording. So I don't have any lights on on this side, but I uh, wanted to show a little bit of my uh, new office. We have, uh, we did this floors. Um, they were, I think the original floor for this, I think it should be like a factory or something, some kind of a warehouse. It has a uh, two and a quarter inch hardwood and whole thing. And we, it had carpet, we took off the carpet and decided to refinish it. So it has this very unique look. You can see all the old oil stains and this coloration from little layers of paint. You got some green there. Um, this is a very unique floor. Uh, it squeaks a little bit, but it will work just fine. That's my, that will be my desk area. I will do like a little bit of a lounge sitting area there or here with uh, some kind of a big monitor maybe there or here. Uh, three workstations on this side. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you the other part of this is where we are building a shop. Um, That's my temporary desk right now, which gives me a great view. But down here, we got uh, a bit of a project we did. So we started this used to be all the same hardwood floor as over there. And uh, we removed that and poured this very cool looking concrete. Uh, we used some lightweight concrete because this is uh, sitting on framing underneath. Uh, we did the stairs going down. Uh, we excavated about two feet. We're putting a Ben Park, yeah, Ben Park lift, which we're gonna eventually modify it to function as an elevator to lower a bunch of different equipment down here, like this big machine, that big uh, uh, cutter and lathe. Um, <clears throat> we have a bunch of those. So all of this gonna have glass coming this way going that way, that way, that way. It's gonna be glass on both sides of the stairs. It's gonna be a normal machine that's gonna sit right here. And this is gonna be a gate to uh, be able to access the lift to lower all this equipment down. Uh, yeah. So I wanna show you downstairs a little bit. It's kind of the same thing that you already saw. Um, Electricians were here today running some power. We're gonna run a lot of three-phase lines this way. Most of this stuff is three-phase. I'm putting this lift together right now as I speak. I'm watching a tutorial video of how to put it together. <laughs> Never installed one of this before. It's fun though. Um, very heavy uh, to do it as a one-man job. I, I had other guys helping me, but nobody happened to show up, so I used this engine lift to kind of lift one side and put this whole thing together. Fun. Eventually we're going to excavate the rest of the basement to all be uh, eight foot ceiling. Uh, eventually we're going to dry all everything to do a nice fire rating coat. Here's how you can see that it's actually framed with the light con lightweight concrete on top. Uh, and actually when you look at it, it looks like you have a 12 inch thick concrete, but just that's just an illusion. Uh, once it's dry on the bottom, it will kind of look like everything is thick concrete. That's the look we're going for. And then we got the I-beams. We did the uh, precast steps, um, which thing is kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna do one more layer of epoxy on this. We did it with sand, but the, the sheen is kind of not there, so they're dull. Um, yeah, we may, may not. We did a little bit of pattern on this. We use um, OSB plywood, 
and it gave us this pattern on the uh, foundation. It's more like a underpinning kind of figure. You know, we went down two more feet and we have a cool pattern going all the way around the uh, basement. Uh, on this, we didn't do any epoxy, we just did a sealer. So it's smooth to the touch. Uh, you can wipe it, you know, if you pour some oil on it, it will wipe off or, you know, eventually it will penetrate, but it's better than just having bare concrete. So, it looks like we have a little bit of a leak here. I check that out. Uh, sump pump, I did a little bit of a heavy duty sump pump just to get the water out of here very, very quickly. We did a drain just in case we're spilling something here or you know, you're washing something and you want to want it to drain, it will drain there. Uh, we have to modify and do a new overhead uh, drain. This used to come down uh, into the sewer since we excavated and underpinned, uh, we didn't want to put an injector pump for the main roof drain, so we took the overhead, painted black. It kind of looks cool. Uh, it really gives you the industrial vibe. We have a 22 foot high ceiling in here. Um, yeah, very cool. And then we have I beam against concrete here. Um, Concrete, concrete, I being against concrete, that's a lightweight stuff that we pour four inches. Uh, this I being just stayed here, it's gonna be kind of a decoration, decorating piece, not really doing anything. But uh, if we decide to hang something from it, like a little roller to kind of pull something up, uh, we could do like a little small crane on it. Nothing too heavy, but we could lift 500 pounds. Um, yep. Yeah, so this is it. This is uh, the shop build. Uh, we'll see you guys later.